One of my sub subscribers asked about how to hook a Futaba receiver, RCC receiver, to a CAUV Pixhawk or H743 wing. Um, all three of those flight controllers use S bus. PPM and input like that, which comes through a single wire. That's one of the problems with these. And in the case of a Pixhawk, we'll look right here, and you can see that this most outboard pin says RCN. It's actually a PPM S bus input on a Pixhawk. And that's your only input. That's kind of a lie because you can actually go up here and hook in a Spectrum uh, or a DSM receiver, truthfully. But that's still through basically, oops, voltage ground in one signal wire, just like this is. Voltage in the middle, ground on the top, and signal wire on the bottom. So. That presented a problem. I remember in the days when we switched from APMs to Pixhawk and it went from eight inputs over to uh, one input. And I was going, what the hey? How do you do this? Because as you can see here on an APM, we had to bring all eight wires over to the flight controller from the RC receiver, which was a lot of extra weight, a lot of extra wire, everything. Now, later on in the evolution of uh, APM, about APM 2.5, 2.6 days, there was a way to make this receiver, I mean, this flight controller, except a S bus. Uh, you could jumper the signal pins on one and two here and then take an S bus off the bottom. But that wasn't the question. Let me go back towards what the question was. So that was just historic on how things had been over the years. And now let's look at this. This is a Futaba compatible uh, receiver, a orange RX Futaba compatible receiver. And it's got it's got bent pins in it, I can see. It's got eight outputs. That's it. It didn't have an S-Bus output. It just had channels. Oops. One through eight. That was it. So, in the days before an eight, uh, in the early days when Pixhawk came out and I was faced with, what the hey? There's just one RC input on this flight controller. How do I get all these inputs into that? Well, that's where this comes in handy. This is a PPM encoder. And what you would do with this, and you'll find, oops, my labels have come off. I used to have all these labeled, one through eight. Because what this did, and what all PPM encoders do, you take these eight connectors and you connect them to one through eight on the receiver and then that gives you on the other end a ppm output that is compatible with uh, the pixhawk just going to stick one of those on there imagine that they're all connected so what you would do then is you would plug this output of the PPM encoder into the pin one, not really called pin one, it's called RCN. You would put this in here and that would get all eight of your channels from a non S bus, non PPM receiver over to the Pixhawk. Same thing on the other flight controllers. So I had to do that for a while. Uh, when all of that first came out, the Pixhawk first came out, 
PPM encoder. Pretty, pretty useful. I keep one around just in case. <laughs> it's probably just holdover from those days when I was surprised by a Pixhawk having only one RC input. Uh, I do have another RC receiver here, but it's on a platform. Just a second. And that receiver is a true Futaba R6. 208SB receiver. Now this platform has a APM on it. Uh, oops. That was in the days before the Pixhawk and stuff. So on this I do have uh, eight wires going from the flight controller down and around and into the eight inputs of this RC receiver. I uh, can't remember if this is pre, this APM is pre S bus on the APM. That was right at the end of the lifetime on the APM that they were able to be run by S bus. So I think at this time, I, this wasn't. Anyway, this is an old platform. So this Futaba uh, 6. 208SB does have serial bus, S bus output. Let me get this out of the way and we'll move up to the computer. So if we look here on the screen, you can see this is the owner's manual for that Futaba R6208SB receiver. And you can see this receiver is S bus compatible. And that means we could put this receiver on a Pixhawk or H743 wing or CAUV with just one wire. Three technically ground and voltage people don't frequently talk about. But you can see right down here on the top of that receiver. Let me scroll in on this. There's, oops, that's for S bus out. Sorry. <laughs> on that receiver over here on the side, if I took that off that quad and looked at it, you could see that there's one S bus connector right here on the Futaba 6208. So this S bus port would go to RCN on the Pixhawk. It would go to uh, a port on the H743. And this is the CUAV. I don't have one of these, but looking at this, it says full compatibility with the Pixhawk project. This is uh, FMU V5. Design standard uses the Pixhawk connector standard for all external interfaces. So that says to me that this, can't see it on here, but I would say this is exactly like the Pixhawk and has S bus or PPM RCN right here on one connector. Down through here it says. that there's PWM RSI, oops, okay, dedicated RC input for Spectrum DSM, that's what I showed you on the top of the Pixhawk, but down on the side, and SBUS with analog slash PWN RSSI input. So, that says to me that the CAUV. I wish I could find a better picture of that. Let me see if I can. Wiring quick start. Uh, it doesn't show. This shows the DSM S bus as being on the side. Hmm. Yeah. And an RC receiver going in S bus right here on the side of the CAUV instead of on the end. And as I look at this, ah, 
and you can see right here here's a PPM RCN on the uh, top or the end so that would be the PPM encoder on a non SBUS receiver would go in here Does it say for sure, but I would be willing to bet that an S bus has to go in this side connector here. Let's see if we can see that a little better. Come on, scroll in. No, it's not going to, is it? Not when you want it to. Oops. DSM S bus slash RSI. Okay, I, I think that would be where you'd plug the S bus out of the. Futaba 6208 receiver. Uh, I'd have to dig through this documentation quite a bit deeper to figure all that out for sure. But yeah, this is PPM. S bus out includes S bus signal input. Yep. So the S bus on the CAUV would have to go in on the side instead of uh, on the end. That would be PPM only on the end, it looks like. Right here would be where an S bus receiver would go in. So you would take this port from the 6208 to here for input. If you were using the PPM encoder on a non S bus RC receiver, that out of the PPM encoder would go in here on the um, end. And let's see what I can do real quick with the H743 wing. Uh, mine's inside the flame wheel now. But we can look at the uh, wiring diagram for it. And what's going to happen here, I can already tell you, is this is the ground voltage and the input signal pin across this way on UART 6 for uh, input. So, let's see. We can look at that a little closer. Uh, this is about uh, layout. I'll try there. Okay, yeah, here we go. So, ground voltage and R6 input. If you look here, R6 inputs are for serial RX by default. PPM can go in on these three pins. And I can assure you, S bus will also go in on these three pins because I do that a lot. <laughs> uh, doesn't say that here, but I assure you, it does. <coughs> Sorry, still uh, not over my little crash on the uh, <laughs> my wife's birthday. Basically, been on bed rest. This shows it a little better how this R6 will take PPM, CRSF, F port, or S bus input on these three pins right here. Uh, look, CRSF, of course, needs four pins because you're using actually a UART receive and transmit. Oh, and F port uses ground voltage and then a transmit and this shows S bus being four wires I've never seen an S bus with four wires ah this is a smart port so you'd really only hook up three here so anyway that's how the H743 wing would hook up to a Futaba RC receiver if it didn't have an S bus out, you'd have to use a PPM encoder and it still hooks into these three wires. On the CAUV, PPM would go in here, but S bus would go in the side here. 
but if you have a RC receiver with an S bus output you would use this elsewise you would have to use the PPM encoder to uh, connect that some corrections here I think the top connector here is the S bus in on this particular receiver and this is for S bus server servos out uh, this documentation doesn't really state that clearly but down here it does show that that side connector on the end or whatever is an S bus output that was a mistake I made in looking at it and so the top connector on top here would be the input and this would be S bus output if you wanted to use it now it's not documented in a lot of things perhaps they can both be used but anyway this down here says to me that that's S bus servos and stuff on that connector wanted to clarify that and also uh, you can still get PPM encoders this is a $14 one on Amazon also comes with a I squared C uh, breakout board uh, I keep one of them around really sorry about the mistakes in the video but uh, I am just uh, two days past three weeks after my fall and I have a pretty bad brain concussion and I'm slurring my speech I'm still dizzy uh, just not with it all the way yet uh, it could take quite a while as you know at uh, things are always darkest before the dawn that's a way to say that things get worse until just before they get better and then they get better real quick so and 10 days into my concussion things did go downhill and in the last week or so I've been basically in the bed uh, can't do much at all can't drive still can't won't fly don't trust my flights even though the flight controllers and stuff could take care of emergencies just don't do it if you ever take your part 107 test you'll find out you're legally uh, required not to fly in cases like this so I apologize for any mistakes uh, but somebody reached out for help and I wanted to give that help and I will be back with more stuff I've got lots of stuff in the wings but Right now I'm trying to recover from that rather bad fall.